Men who cheat and men who don't cheat show the same level of satisfaction in a relationship. A man can be fully in love with his wife and then also cheat. I know women have a hard time believing this, but it's true. Men who cheat in a relationship will report, like, say, 72% satisfaction. Men who don't cheat report 72% satisfaction. Yeah, they really want you to believe that. <laughs> I would like to know how they're measuring love. Are they measuring it on the fact that he's still with his wife? On the fact that he's still physically attracted to her? Because love is an act. The act of love, not just being present. Once again, this is a plea. This is a, just let me cheat, man. Please. The man on TikTok said that I don't love you any less. And if it's on TikTok, it must be true. And when he's saying that the husbands have satisfaction on both cheating and non-cheating, what about the wife? What about her satisfaction? Does she not factor into the other half of this marriage? And this is why I'm saying to you, stop listening to them. A man who loves you would not do that to you. He would not risk ruining his relationship with you, his home, his family, over something so trivial. And if he is, he doesn't deserve you. We are already seeing the fallout from men that think like this. The rise of women outright opting out of relationships, period. Not having babies. But we never talk about what's behind that. It's always they're too focused on their careers. They don't care about family. They're just selfish. When that's simply not true, peace must trump everything. And if that man is not bringing you peace and potentially bringing you STDs instead, it might be time for a rethink. So I'll say it again, ladies. Loving men only. Concerned men only. Committed men only. Men who love, cherish and adore you only. Don't be a slow learner.